guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm out here in Park City, Utah for a very special reason. We got the first look of this vehicle right here. This is it. This is the all new 2023 Cadillac Lyric. But before we get into this midsize luxury crossover electrified vehicle from Caddy, let's talk about what's going on. Cadillac, they've been doing the business since the early 1900s. So many exciting models. Nice to see them taking from their history, being that, you know, leader in the luxury, in the design, in the technology. And now fast forward to the 21st century, they're coming to market with their first ever fully electrified vehicle. Now this Lyric, we've seen in Super Bowl commercials, it's now making its public debut so that us auto journalists can bring it to you. But my question is, has Cadillac gone the right route with this Lyric? And is it worth the price with what you're getting? Now this particular one is being called the debut edition. A Little bit of a special edition. It is rear wheel drive because you'll be able to get your Lyric front wheel, uh, excuse me, rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. But with this rear wheel drive unit being a debut edition, having all of that style and new technology, I wanna find out, is it a luxury, crossover SUV that's worth the price when you're looking for an EV. So let's go ahead, let's dive into our Satin Steel, that's the name of the color, Satin Steel Lyric, and find out. Right off the bat, the first thing I love is it looks like a Cadillac. The designers had a little bit of extra freedom, especially when, when looking at the front end of the business. So what do we got? We got our LED headlights, you're gonna have your LED, of course, daytime running lamps, and up in this top portion are our, our LED turn signals. Now the interesting thing is, is that this is a new play for Cadillac, taking the individual LED lights, the headlights, and stacking them up vertically. I'm really digging the look, helps it separate itself from the other SUVs in their lineup, like the X-T5 and the X-T6. Now, they did take some nice brushed aluminum, no chrome, nice brushed aluminum style finish in this arrow shape. The one thing I'm gonna have to zonk are these horizontal lines in this gloss black. I wish that they would have just left this smooth gloss black or made it a functional air curtain, but I am digging the way that they worked all of this aluminum style to it. A Little bit of gloss black on the bottom, and then of course we got the aluminum up top as well. And then as we coast in front of that Cadillac badge, normally I would say this is the grill, but there's no need for a grill with this being an EV. You have your Cadillac badge, like I said, going all the way back to the early 1900s. So much history, it illuminates at night to give it that nice, extra, modern, contemporary feel. The brushed aluminum, like I said, the way that they did it, it's not too obtrusive. It's a nice balance. The one thing I would have liked to have seen different that I am gonna zonk is the way the hood, this portion of the hood, does not meet the top portion of that aluminum finish here. I think that that just would have been a cleaner style. And plus, if you're thinking about aerodynamics, I would think that this hinders aerodynamics just a bit. Now, the actual front fascia, the way they did the design, they could have just left it gloss black or they could have just painted it satin steel. Love the diagonal design that they did. Plus, this bottom portion illuminates. And at night, it's gonna be able to illuminate in many different ways to give it that unique style. Forward-facing camera, cleanly integrated to the front fascia. And yes, you do need cooling because this does have that Ultium battery pack that is liquid-cooled. So you're gonna have that functionality on the lower side that's all gloss black to bring nice cool air in. And to wrap it up, just a little bit of that aluminum finish. Kind of ties the whole front end together just like a birthday present and this being the Lyric. Now, when we get up onto that low slung hood, simple Cadillac style, nice high peak, disappears into the hood in the middle, and then everything else goes right towards the windshield. Coming around the bend, what do we work with? Well, first of all, before we talk about wheels and tires, let it be known that this is the first ever Cadillac to have a five point multi-link independent front suspension and the same thing out back, five link, both up front and out back. The reason why they did that is they want this Lyric to handle like none other before. Now coming around the bend, on our debut edition, what do we got? We got 22 inch aluminum wheels, hand polished right at the factory. 
I've seen the video footage. We got these gloss black inserts, and these are specifically dropped in to help generate better airflow around the fender opening. Michelin Pilot Sport tires, Cadillac work with Michelin to design this tire to give us less resistance on the sidewall, and these tires are huge. 275 on the width, 40 series sidewall, you got three different levels of regen braking, and you have adaptive dampers, all four corners that adjust automatically to the driving conditions. Little bit of gloss black around the fender opening. I would have liked to have seen this body color match. Let me know how you feel about the gloss black. It looks good brand new. I just don't know three years from now, what is all this gonna look like. Now, coming down the side, you can see how the fender's got a nice flare to it. And this is where you're gonna find your charge port door with your Cadillac badge. You press that, it drops down electrically. That's where you're gonna plug in. We'll talk more about charging times and range and all those good numbers that you want in a few seconds. And then when you're done, it just closes right up. Nice, super clean. Now from the side, because of the Ultium battery pack that's very low in the chassis, this allows the designers to take a certain view of developing the exterior by making it a more aerodynamic SUV. When it comes to the battery pack, these Ultium batteries have different modules. The Hummer EV truck that we did not too long ago had 24 modules. This one has 12. Just to give you an idea, the type of power that's needed for the Hummer compared to this Lyric. Gloss black on the mirror caps. Love the 360 degree cameras. You got your turn signals, slim and trim, belt, built in. And then another great thing is I like the way the black matches our two-tone blacked out roof. Really gives it a nice silhouette. Just some shiny bright metal work along the bottom. Nothing along, excuse me, along the top. Nothing along the bottom. We got our flush door handles with the ambient lighting that's gonna greet you every time. You just press that, the door opens, and you're gonna use this little tab to open and close the door. On the bottom portion, tying in that aluminum theme, we got a little bit of aluminum trim, and then the rest is gonna be gloss black as it curves underneath. Coming towards the back with this low sexy roof line, you got that butter knife style, almost like a steak knife if it had some uh, nice little grip there, but nice knife style with the trim. This is actually a quarter window instead of just being all gloss black like you would find on a CT5. So I'm glad that they put a quarter window and then coming towards the rear, lighting. They did the lighting so great. It actually flows into the rear the rear quarter panel and into that rear pillar and then wraps around into the hatch area. Now, one of the things that I love is that Cadillac kind of really paid attention to what they were doing with the wiper. There's absolutely no wiper. They designed the roof spoiler to help just whisk the water off the rear glass, just like a whisk broom. So it's nice to see that development. You got LED Formula One style taillight in that rear spoiler. I like the kick up on the rear hatch more LED lighting, and then of course we have that Cadillac badge that's gonna illuminate at night, Lyric. And then on the sides, notice how they brought the lighting to the sides as well with that pesky horizontal plastic. I, I'm gonna have to zonk that, I wish that was smooth. But definitely the badging looks great. You got your 450E, which is the Newton torque me number in meters of torque. And then we have aluminum with the gloss black. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering our Lyric. All right guys, we got the hood popped. You do have hydraulic hood struts. Unfortunately, all that's underneath the hood is plastic. Now you can get an all wheel drive Lyric with a front motor and a rear motor, but the bad news is, is if you go rear wheel drive, there's no storage underneath that cover. Cool looking cover, would have been nice to have storage, but let's talk about numbers. On this Lyric debut edition with the single rear wheel drive electric motor, you're looking at 340 horsepower, 325 pound-feet of torque, dual motor is gonna be 500 horsepower. Now on the dual motor one, you're looking at about zero to 60 in four seconds flat. This particular one, you're looking at about zero to 60 in about 4.9 seconds. The battery is a 100 kilowatt per hour battery. On a single charge, you're looking at a little over 312 miles. DC fast charging, you could charge 76 miles in 10 minutes. And if you're wondering, well, what about 
charging at home. So you're basically looking at in the real wheel drive unit, you got 52 miles per hour. All wheel drive is 37 miles per hour. And the great news is the trailering package is 3,500 pounds worth of towing if you go with the trailering package. But while we go ahead, let's hear what the pedestrian noise sounds like when you're backing up to warn people with this quiet EV. Let's give it a sound. All right, guys, we're inside this 2023 Cadillac Lyric debut edition. What a debut it is. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I am so sick and tired of people in my life buying Teslas. I want something different. But there really hasn't been a lot in the luxury side of things. But I'm really digging this Cadillac. My great, great, great granddaddy had a Cadillac just like Elvis, 1957, bright pink. Can you get this Lyric in pink? I know you're probably asking that. We'll have to wait and see, but I know you want to know what the price is. So MSRP, the way that this one is optioned is right around $62,000. Let's see if it's worth the price to the door panels. What I absolutely love is that there's nothing in this vehicle that's shared with any other Cadillac. You got soft touch material. You got more of that finish. Look at the triangular pattern near the middle of the door panel there, that all illuminates at night. So it's real transparent and thin, and it illuminates super clear. It then transitions into a wood style trim. You got all your seat controls up top, ventilated seats, heated seats, and massage seats for the passenger and the driver up front. Love the two-tone style, classy, elegant, and sporty. Look at the door handle, that brushed, aluminum piece there pops the door open just a little bit of gloss black around the switch gear nothing too crazy and then you have the first of 19 akg premium sound speakers the speaker grill cover looks just as stunning as the trim you got a large door pocket there you'll easily be able to get a utah favorite it's a coyote burrito drop that in there and a nice large can of Aquafina to wash it down because they don't do plastic out here. You gotta do aluminum, help protect the environment. Going from the door panel to the dash, more soft touch. I don't know why they went with the shiny chrome finish in here. The aluminum finish would have looked a lot cleaner and these vents are a little difficult to get perfect on you. So something to think about, but I love the stitch work. And I love the way there's no exposed button for the glove box, but we'll show you how to get in there so you can put your electric gloves in that glove box. Love all of that triangular diamond trim and it all starts on the corner here. And then the only available system like this in Cadillac's lineup is the Lyric. 28 inches of single screen. It's got a nice concave shape to it all touchscreen capable. Let me show you some of my favorite features. Drive mode. You got your different drive modes. Tour, sport, slippery when wet, snow and ice. Look at the way, it looks like a little snowman back there. And then my mode. My mode is where you could personalize each of the different settings from steering, braking, motor sound. You could have the motor sound in the cabin and we'll have more of that Coming up when we do the full drive, remember this is just the first look, but we got the first drive coming up June 28th. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. And you got your adjustable regen braking, three different levels, one pedal operation. That's going to be able to adjust the one pedal operation all by hitting that. We go back to home and let me show you a couple other things. We go into controls. There's our one pedal driving. You could adjust it right there. You could also get into that glove box. See, I didn't lie. Drop the glove box. You're going to have to manually close it, but it's super duper light. You could easily put, I would say, 
three sets of family jewels in there, no problem. And the felt lining, you won't have to worry about scratching your family jewels. How about the rest of what we got? You could go into drive and park, adjust your traction control, auto parking assist. We could get out of that. You got multiple pages, three pages of different settings, Google Assistant. We come back and we go into charging. This is cool. So it's letting you know about the charge or range, and then you could adjust it, whatever you want it to charge to. Say you're in a rush, you only want it to charge at 70%, it tells you how many miles you could go. That is super smart, or you could charge later. Why do it now? Have it do it during those optimum times at night when battery uh, electricity is cost less when you're charging the battery. We got cabin preconditioning. You could actually have the vehicle cool for you before you get into it. And then of course, you got your great cameras, 360. You can look out the side. Really nice to have that set up in here. And it makes it just very visually pleasing, the resolution. My problem is, my zonk, is I wish it took up more of this screen. But I'm gonna put it back in the park and we're right back where we started. We do have our shifter, if you didn't notice, for the direct drive transmission on the steering column, just like the good old days with Cadillac. More of that unique AC vent, which is a little cumbersome to use. We got our aluminum uh, nice toggle switches for our th dual climate control. Easy to adjust, super clear. Open this guy, what do we got? Look at this, nice little tray. We got some hand sanitizer, we got some sanitation wipes. I would fill this up with Skittles. If you're looking at a rainbow here in Salt Lake City, you could actually taste the rainbow and look at the rainbow. That floating center console with the nice touches around the cup holders. This, if you don't want to touch the screen, if say you have a phobia of touching screens, you could actually use this direct drive control knob. This is for your volume. Little gloss black heavy, but I like the nice flat wood finish. Down below, we got a USB-C, some really nice aluminum trim with the Cadillac name. And then you could put a purse, a purse, a sack, a satchel, even a 10 pound bag of Utah potatoes. I don't know if you knew that potatoes were grown in Utah, not just Idaho. Put those down there. Wireless charging, nice leather material, not very soft. You notice I didn't say soft. It's nice, but it's not very soft. But you lift this up, we got felt lining, USB-C, you got a 12 volt. Let me show you the Cadillac key fob. Yes, we're in car number 19. Would have been nice to have a little bit different key fob. What's great is, is that you could put, I would say, 745s in here of Elvis Presley. So as you are driving your Cadillac, you could be thinking about the king when he used to drive in his Cadillacs, and you could have those 45s in there. If you're wondering what a 45 is, it's the smaller size record. Yeah, those would fit in there. Seats, the leather, more of that AKG speakers right in the headrest. Remember, this is gonna massage you just like you wanna be relaxed, nice bolstering, full electric assist for the passenger and the driver. And then like I was telling you about Utah rainbows, Roy G. Biv, look at all that glass up there. It doesn't open, but it's easy to close and open the shade so you don't get too much sun and then wind up having a heat stroke. Of course, we're gonna have that GM unique digital rear view mirror. They were the first ones to come out with a digital rear view, rear view mirror. Now other brands have it. But why don't you come over to the business end? I got a totally new steering wheel I wanna show you in this Lyric. All right guys, business time behind the wheel. Now remember, there are two memory seat settings ventilated seats, heated seats, and massage seats. I apologize for the chime, but this is an electric vehicle and we do have it on and I wanna be able to show you the dash, but you'll notice that they give you a nice, unique sill plate with the Cadillac script and that cool Lyric design there with the aluminum and it lights up at night, all LED. Seats are super supportive and comfortable. I'm six feet tall, I got plenty of headroom in here, and then the steering wheel. Totally unique to the Lyric. You'll notice that this is Super Cruise equipped with the gloss black up here. That's that semi-autonomous driving. There is gloss black on the switch gear, which is gonna give you some fingerprints, but you do have a heated steering wheel. And the steering wheel itself looks very, very classy, especially with the bottom V portion here. You have 
the ability to adjust your regen, regen braking. And the great news about this is that it's pressure sensitive. So you know how in other EVs, you have actually different levels, different steps, one, two, three. This you actually pull and it's pressure adjusted as you squeeze it. Kind of cool technology. Let me show you another piece. On the far edge of the 28 inch digital display, LED display, you actually have your ability to adjust things. We can pull up all sorts of information. And then with your headlights, we go back to gauges. I go back and you could pull up like your range and whatnot. And what's great is, is that you have actually different pages of information within that to see what your range and what your odometer, trip odometer is. There's your dash. That's your standard gauge setting. Large speedometer in the center. I'm now going to show you what it looks like in energy. So there it is in energy with your charge left. We could do full on map, ba bam, super clear. Or speaking of clear, you could go clean with just the minimalistic of information on that dash. What's also great is, is that with the AKG speaker system, it actually cancels out all the exterior noise and vibration. So they really went to work on sound deadening material, thickness of glass, but also the canceling of that noise. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in the back seat and see if your rear seat passengers are gonna be just as comfy as you are sitting up front as they are sitting in the back. All right guys, back seat time. And I'm telling you right now, this is where electrified vehicles just win hands down. I mean, we've already talked about in other EVs, the flat bottom floor really allows there to be just so much space in this midsize luxury EV. Backs of the seats uniquely designed. I'm not too sure about this extended back portion, but I do love the stitching. Good size pocket. You'll easily be able to get a couple maps to where you'll find some um, Jurassic Park bones and whatnot. So you can find some fossilized dinosaur bones out here because once upon a time, dinosaurs walked the earth. So you could have those maps there. Maybe you could go find a few. Command center is not so much of a center as it is just AC vents. So no actual command that you can make back here. It would be nice to be able to adjust the temperature blower fan. So I'm a little disappointed. We're going to have to zonk that, but you do have your rear AC vents, USB C's and a home power source. I guess you could put one electrified Twinkie there and then you could play a game with your backseat passenger. Who could grab the Twinkie the fastest? That sounds like a weird game, doesn't it? But the seats, they feel good. Love the way they did the finishes. And of course that AKG premium sound system pulling down the center armrest. It's actually at the perfect height. You could sit here and say, hmm, if I was a dinosaur, would I want to be a T-Rex or would I want to be a Triceratops? Hmm. You could have those thoughts. You could come up with those decisions and conclusions. Two cup holders for some dino juice. And then of course, time to get into the cargo area to see just how much you could haul in this Lyric. Right, guys, time to get in that cargo area. Before we do, there's those lights I was telling you about, how they wrap around the side that we weren't able to show you earlier, but definitely did a great job with the lighting. All you're gonna do is hit the Cadillac badge. One, two, three, open Sesame. You're gonna be greeted to actually quite a surprising amount of room. What are we looking at? You're basically looking at 28 cubic feet of space with the seats up, 60.8 with the seats down. Now the great news is, is that you got these little nooks for a couple boxes of those trail hiking Twinkies. You're gonna want them out here in Park City. We lift this up, look at the storage. Wow, you could actually fill this up with jelly beans. Over 2,500 jelly beans would fit in this area. And the great news is with the carpet, it's not gonna rub off any of the colors. On the driver's side, you're gonna notice a few things. First of all, we got our LED lighting in the back. Second of all, we got a 12 volt. Would have been nice to have a home power source. And then you do have buttons to lower the seats, not raise them. So that is a bit of a bummer that you can't raise the seats back up, but you could see how with 60.8 cubic feet of space, you could go to the Bass Pro Fishing Shop, get your hiking boots, rope, get all those little things that you need, maybe even some MREs. What does that stand for? Meals ready to eat 
to have in there as you're going up into the mountains. Now, I know where you want to go. You don't want to go hike a mountain. You want to go on throttle with me. Well, guess what? This is the first look. We got the first drive coming. When is it coming? Get your pencil out right now. June 28th, 9 a.m. Eastern time. We're going to be going on throttle in this Lyric. But until that day, we need to wrap it up here from Utah. So let's get right, to guys. it. guys, it's been a great day out here in Park City. Definitely got to thank the whole Cadillac team for getting us access to this new Lyric. But definitely stay tuned for the first drive, June 28th, 9 a.m. Eastern time, where we're going to go on throttle with Cadillac's first ever electric vehicle. But until that day, let me know in the comment section what you feel about this Lyric. Do you think it's worth the price with what Cadillac is bringing to the table? I'm dying to hear what you have to say, but until we meet another day on another part of the planet, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rights family. Definitely got to thank the amazing camera woman, Lori, working that camera like a champ. No matter what state she's in, show her some love in that comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.